Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a two inch brush and a little bit of blue. And we'll come up here to the corners and just paint in our little sky, just like normal. And then we'll let it get nice and soft and light down toward the horizon. Let it get very light and then nice and dark in the corners. Now with a clean two inch brush, we can very lightly blend out this whole sky. I want to make it look very soft, blend out anything that looks too hard, make it very smooth. With some water. With some gray on the knife, we can add a tiny little bit of highlight right up here to this mountain. I'm just taking the knife and letting it run right down, very, very lightly. Now this isn't snow covered. Normally I, I like those snow covered mountains, but today I thought, I thought I'd show you one that was kind of rocky. Maybe we'll have a little bit of snow on it. But mostly rocks. When you're done highlighting, you can take just that, that basic mountain color, the first color we used here, and we're going to add some nice dark shadow areas, just like that. This is extremely dark. Kind of let them work together like that. There we go. Yeah. Maybe a little right there. With some white on the knife, we can lay in a little bit of snow right up here. Not too much though. Don't want to go overboard. Just a little bit. Like there's a little snow just kind of sitting up in there that hasn't quite melted off yet. Let it work down the mountain. Maybe a tiny bit right in there. Just like that. Now we can go back to a clean brush and just tap out the bottom of the mountain. Then lift up following the angle. See that the angle comes this way? So I lift up like that. Over here I turn the brush and do the same thing. Now before we go too far, I want to add some water. So we'll just take some blue and pull in from the sides, just like this. Now we can think about some distant trees back here. So for that, we'll just take a one inch brush and some green. And I'm just going to tap, just like this. I'm looking for a nice dark edge right up there at the top. And we'll take that and lift it up, just like this to create thousands of little treetops way in the distance.
Now we can paint some trees that are just a little bit closer. We'll just take the fan brush and tap. Kind of use the, the top corner of the brush. And you'll get trees that look like they have a little bit more detail to them. But don't cover up all your background trees. Leave a lot of them showing through. And you can even take the brush and just add a little detail to one like this. When you're done painting your background trees, then we can take some nice dark green and make some large ones, just like this. I gave myself a line, and then I'm going to tap and push up and work my way across, just like that. And we'll do quite a few of these. Maybe we'll have a lot of pine trees in this painting. So we'll just push them in like this. Make them pretty dark though. We want these pine trees to be nice and dark. There we go. And another one right there. Now with a clean brush, we can take some of this green and just lightly pull it just to kind of blur it and make it look like a reflection and we'll go gently across very very lightly though I don't want to destroy it all with the fan brush we can paint in a very basic reflection of the mountain just like this with the knife and some brown we can add a little bit of land right back here. Not too much, just a little something back here. With some white on the knife, we can add a small water line right back here, just like this. Now back to the fan brush and some green and blue. And, let's see, let's make a big tree right about there. And I'll just take the corner of the brush and push up, bend the brush. We want this tree very dark. We'll come back and highlight later. Now with some blue and green and white, we can add a little bit of highlight to this tree up here. This is kind of a different color than I normally use. It's got some blue and white instead of uh, yellow and green. So it kind of makes it, it look more like a blue spruce tree. Something a little different than we normally do. Now we'll go back to our normal green and yellow and highlight the rest of these trees. Doing the same thing though, pushing up with the fan brush to add a little bit of highlight. Leave a lot of dark at the bottom. There we go, just like that. Now we can take the one inch brush and go through some dark color. And I want to add a few tree limbs that stick right out into the painting like that. Maybe the tree's over here somewhere, we can't see it. But we can see some of the leaves that are hanging in here. With some black and brown on the knife, we can add in a nice rock right here at the bottom. Just like that. Very dark. I want this to be nice and, and dark so it looks close. Because this is right here in the foreground. There we go. Just like that. And, well, we have that going. Let's add a little rock right there. This one's not too big. Just sticking out of the water. With a little bit of brown and white, we can highlight our rock. Not too much highlight, though. I want these to be pretty dark. Just like that. And then the tiniest little bit on this one here. Not much. Not much at all. With some dark paint on the one-inch brush, 
we can add a little bit of grass right there. Now to turn this into grass, we can take the script liner and just pull up a lot of tiny little blades of grass, just like that. Having that dark on there really helps. This would be much harder without the dark there. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my new DVD for beginners. I'll put those links below. And thanks for watching.